hello friends so today we are starting our first video for our full stack web development course uh, first of all your computer should be perfect and clean so that whatever I am teaching you from here you can easily install it you can just follow the instructions if your computer has is not a fresh computer it may require a format but I'm not asking you to do formatting uh, I'm giving you a very good solution here uh, first of all we will have uh, AWS workspaces uh, tutorial today uh, this is a really cool thing by AWS workspaces which we should use so basically um, getting a cloud-based uh, virtual desktop environment is the best uh, idea to set up all your de development things and that so here we go uh, AWS workspaces it's a managed desktop as a service solutions uh, many companies are there which provides you this type of solution like Citrix is there VMware is there uh, I found this one a good option because in this way you can uh, learn uh, explore something about AWS so what I have done is uh, first of all I went to aws.amazon.com slash workspaces if you have not created the account you have to just create the account but here I have already have a account uh, basically I'm not going to show you here how to create an account it's very easy you can just google it and uh, get started so here you search for workspaces find services uh, different services are provided by AWS one of the services is workspaces and the great thing about uh, workspaces uh, is that uh, some desktops or some Linux instances you can uh, fire up free okay so here you can see one of my instance which has been fired and it's uh, free it's a root it has a space of 80 GB and uh, it's a Windows machine right now it's disconnected so how how can we set up a new one so you just go to launch workspaces and then this is a default directory you don't need to change it you just go to next tab and here you just write the name for example demo and demo user and you just write the email address here for example demo at demo.com no problem here you can write your own uh, email address whichever you like better to enter a valid email address um, here we are just doing demo so we won't add anything you don't add a real real email okay so the user is created it's here you just scroll down and just click here on the next step so you can see here that free tier eligible you can see four gigabytes of memory that's called a RAM and 80 GB of the storage user user gets 50 GB right so there are many free tiers available here uh, depending on the account uh, mine is a student account but when you create I think you can create it's for sure you can create an account on AWS you, you by default you get some free tiers uh, just to test it out so if you are a Linux fan you can use this one um, I will use Windows because most of you guys are new with the Linux systems you already have laptops with Windows so we'll use Windows but we'll create a new instance here and then what what I did was I use this one performance with Windows 10 having 7.5 GB of RAM so 
so it uses two virtual CPUs very good performance you can see that some comes with Windows 10 and Office 2016 installed but we don't need that so that's it so you click here and click on next that's it and here you can say build monthly but ours is a free tier so we say auto stop and auto stop time maximum is a can configure it but we keep it one hour you don't need encryption right now nothing you just go next day and that's it just to say launch workspaces once you do that it will about take 20 minutes to get available and then you'll have all the parameters all the field names being populated so it says that pending so right now we have this one available so I'll show you how you can access it you just go to clients.workspaces.com here so here it will ask it will ask you to download whichever platform the beauty of this is that you can install on it has a diversity of platforms right you can launch a Windows machine on Android that's that's the beauty of AWS and using uh, cloud-based desktops so right now we have Windows machine so we'll download this one and once you download it you can just set it up next next and then finish and then what you're going to get is this thing you'll get Amazon workspaces in your as a as a desktop application on a computer so I'll go back and return to my login page just to show you how is it it's taking some time okay so this is my computer I used here you can use your username for example demo here I have used rather my name and then your password and boom you sign in Uh, during initial configuration it will it will ask you for the registration code is pretty self-explanatory you have to enter this and after that you will be prompted to ask uh, username and password that's it so once this is done you will be able to launch your workspace in cloud so that's all for now uh, I'll be showing you once again how to um, access the computer and then we'll start our journey for full stack web development thank you guys take care